It's Friday, July 1st, the beginning of the weekend and the beginning of a new month. And we're here to tell you morning, Barbados. Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. Barbados, get up. Good morning. I'm Katrina Marshall saying welcome to another edition of Morning Barbados and thank you for choosing us as your first choice to wake up with in the morning. I'd like to say good morning to one of two of my favorite people, Cassandra Crawford and Colin Cunningham. Guys, it's the weekend. Mm -hmm. Yes, indeed. Good it's morning. The weekend. Good morning. It's the weekend when uh, the official launch of Crop Over takes place. If you are uh, thinking, if you're about, if you're Vincentian, you're probably longing for home at this point because Vincy. it's the weekend when Vincy Mass, Mass culminates. Uh, but you're here, so you could go to the launch of Crop yeah. Over. And of course, tonight, tonight sees the launch of uh, the Silkaholics. So don't forget, right after the news here on CBC TV 8, you've got to tune in and get the scoop. Uh, get the scoop on all that is to come with the Silkaholics for the Crop Over season. We're right there with you this Crop Over, you know, and we want to make it as special as it can be. I absolutely cannot wait for the season to come into its full swing. We were talking about how, the, the, you know, the private parties are almost running parallel to what the NC Mm -hmm. and, and organizations like ours are doing but it doesn't change the fact that the fever has arrived the music is beginning the controversy has already started um, I was listening to one of the uh, songs the offerings from Kids Sight last night yet another Frundle Stewart <laughs> song um, which is uh, getting quite a lot of airplay Colin have you heard any of the music um, this year Not a lot of the social commentary I think I need to get out and go to the tent but I keep mm -hmm. saying there's no controversy this is a very quiet couple what is wrong so far? what bring up something Monday festival Third stage. Ah, what festival ah, stage on go. Monday? That's probably the beginning <laughs> right there. <laughs> That's all I can say, yes, really. Yes, yes, yeah, yes, but yes, it's, yes. if it's the one place that you're going to hear at least the beginnings That's of rumblings, where it comes. yeah, that's mm -hmm. it. It's going to be festival stage. Definitely going to be festival stage. Across the world, though, it's a really, you know, really wide jump today. Starts the official launch of a quite a few crop over things, but all the way across in China, it's the 90th anniversary of the Communist Party. Okay. Um, it's uh, an interesting development, given that we're supposed to be. Looking to China as the next new world superpower, however, the human rights record continues to be a little bit on the... It's not getting the endorsement of the UN, so that's mm. an interesting thing to watch. Um, but that's just one of the things that's happening around the world um, so far. Yeah. yeah. My only thing I would say about that comment about the human rights is that I wish they would leave us alone a little bit. Because, us you know, who? Meaning smaller countries, the you know, and, you know they, they come down on us and, you know, I hear people getting beheaded with swords. I don't hear a word from those bodies, not a peep. Wow. And we can't even do a little, you know, hanging. <laughs> <laughs> you yeah. know who's been peeping? Cassandra. <laughs> uh, the UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon has said that the region needs to come together and fight organized crime. The and fight organizations that pressure us. How about that? <laughs> well, Colin's in a fighting he mood, is, boy. He is. What did you see first Ooh. this morning? Uh, I, wake, I woke up to the sound of rain. It was nice. Indeed. Oh, I had a good it? time this morning. Yeah, we did. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. Some some other international news is, is going on, Katrina. Dominique Strauss Khan, mm -hmm. we know that he's now Hang him. Colin. We should hang him. Um, um, no, we shouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? It seems because he's going on his own. Why not? Yeah, well that's the thing, Cassandra. As you said, he, he's hung himself politically. Mm -hmm. I mean he'll never as you know, as many pundits think, he'll never uh, be in the running for any sort of political candidate once uh, again. Mm -hmm. However, you know how we were saying before the show that the case of the maid that Bros brought before him is starting mm -hmm. to look shaky because her credibility is shot. Well, well I don't think a case is starting to look shaky. That's what you were saying. Yeah, the defense would say things. I don't the defense that's their job and sometimes they, they you know they try to try you in the court of public opinion mm -hmm. uh, try to and that know, can be very impactful change. especially in a space like right. that right and if yeah. it's going to be a jury trial we're not sure yet if it's going to be a jury trial if it's going to be a right. judge if it's going to be a jury trial you know they put all this thing out in the air so obviously people who are on the jury are, are going, going to, to be, be compromised you know, hopefully mm. influenced by it. but what are they saying now? they are saying that while I mean the Investigators who um, did the full examination, the DNA testings, did say that there was evidence of sexual conduct. Um, mm. But they also said that she was a credible witness. But her credibility as a witness, in terms of what happened in that room that night, seems to be being called into question because she's um, recently been released a, a transcript of a telephone mm -hmm. conversation she had with someone who was behind bars discussing the financial viability 
of going for strokes con well, for and, and they noted they said specifically sexual conduct not mis exactly. conduct exactly but well, okay. before we get to the top line what i want to say about that is yes. if i fell down in front of a very rich man's house i would probably be discussing the possibilities of suing them mm -hmm. if i was attacked by a very rich man and i found out i'd be like you know he I needs to probably, pay. Yeah. <laughs> he needs to pay. <laughs> we'll talk some more about that as we go through the morning. Hopefully it's Friday. It's another rainy day. And uh, we'll find out a little later in the show what's promised weather-wise for the weekend. But right now we want to give you uh, the top lines, the stories. We'll give you details to in our news at 7. Societal leaders in Barbados could this weekend be mulling over some ideas about getting this country out of its economic difficulties. The suggestions contained in a five-point strategic plan are coming from former central bank Governor Sir Courtney Blackman. He was the featured speaker during yesterday's lunchtime lecture series sponsored by the University of the West Indies Open Campus and the Central Bank of Barbados. Barbadians will be invited shortly to discuss a proposed new minimum wage. That's the word from Minister of Labour Dr. Esther Barasuku to a meeting of the Barbados Private Sector Association. Dr. Barasuku praised the social partnership for lending its voice to almost all the decisions coming from the Ministry of Labour. She says the changes to the minimum wage will help workers who are currently earning a pittance. The radar at the Grantley Adams International Airport is down. This has been confirmed by Director of Civil Aviation, Anthony Archer, who says it's been out of order for a short while. CBC understands it stopped working on Monday evening due to a cable problem. Engineers are reportedly working around the clock to correct that problem. And uh, as, as he prepares to hand over chairmanship of the Caribbean community to his Ketitian counterpart, Grenada's Prime Minister Tillman Thomas says that despite some challenges, the 15-member regional grouping was able to improve its image and effectiveness in the region during his tenure. Speaking ahead of last evening's opening of the 32nd annual or rather regular meeting of the Conference of Heads of Government of CARICOM, the Grenadian leader said he was satisfied his six-month term had helped to move the process forward. Those are the top lines. We'll give you details at 7 o'clock. We take a look now at international and local newspaper headlines, but we start with the international newspaper. Thanks, Cassandra. I've got a copy of the global edition of the New York Times, the International Herald Tribune. And as we said yesterday, as thousands of protesters took to the streets in London yesterday, joining a growing wave of unrest in Europe against stringent austerity measures, tens of thousands of British teachers and public sector workers across the country walked off their jobs in a protest over proposed changes to their pension plans. Union officials warned that the strike could be the first of a series of walkouts in the next few months, reflecting growing unhappiness over layoffs, salary freezes, tax increases, and a persistently sluggish economy. So that austerity angst continues to spread through Britain. We'll keep an eye on that story. Four indicted in the killing that rocked Lebanon. So we move to Beirut, a United Nations-backed tribunal investigating the assassination of a former Lebanese prime minister, delivered indictments to prosecutors on Thursday, naming four men, including two suspected of being members of Hezbollah, in a killing six years ago that redrew the country's political map and unleashed years of dis. Court. Berlin ends a draft conceived as an antidote to its Nazi past. Germany formally discontinued the draft at midnight on Thursday to make way for a smaller, tighter army that will draw in people like Johann Beckert and Stephen Sadler. They're both volunteers. Find out how they play into that story if you can order your copy of the International Herald Tribune. And very quickly, a picture of sheer jubilation, which I'm sure we'll talk about later on in the show. In the semi final matches on Thursday at Wimbledon, Maria Sharapova of Russia and Petra Kvitovka of the Czech Republic were victorious. Just some of the stories we are following or that you can follow if you order a copy of the International Herald Tribune from newspaperdirect.com or you can call them at 436-1314 to order your copy. Colin, what's making headlines locally? Well, we have one paper so far. Sir Courtney is on the front page of the advocate he says he has a say on economy actually the governor former governor of the central bank says he has no problem with government's policy of allowing free bus rides for school children and spending on summer camps i'm sure he said a whole lot more that story is on the page one pm pledges commitment to integration efforts that's prime minister frundel stewart yes and on the back page adapt to changing needs of customers stakeholders in the tourism sector need to change their way of doing business to suit their customers 
even if this means opening later and longer. That word coming from David Rice, the CEO of the Barbados Tourism Authority. Just a couple of the stories in the Nation newspaper. Just in? Ah, hot of the press, I see. The that was the advocate Nation. you just read. Yeah. <laughs> Credit card debt goes at choking Bajans. That is not good news. Stewart takes stand on free movement in the region. That's our Prime Minister, the Honorable Frondel Stewart. For the record, Prime Minister Stewart on the front page shaking hands with the Prime Minister of St. Kitts and Nevis, Dr. Denzel Douglas. Now, there's a picture on the inside. I think, believe it's on page 39. There to the, 39, oh. they said. You know, you can never find the right page you're looking for early in the morning when you haven't had your coffee actually i never have coffee but, know, but this picture <laughs> is about a it's a female soccer match germany playing against nigeria <laughs> it is funny though a uh, ball is coming at the goalkeeper who looks like a deer in the head. I hope you can get yep, this. Yep, Look at that yep. picture. Absolutely <laughs> petrified. The eyes. At the eyes. The, at the sight of that ball you coming have to get, You have to see the, the eyes. eyes have it. Oh, no. Wow. That's a, that's a point blank shot. <laughs> I have been in goal. That's goal that yeah, point yeah, blank you, range, right? Ooh, I'm telling you, man. So that's some of the stories in the local newspapers. And... Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> all right. Well, you see, we all have so much to share. Uh, we all want to tell you what's happening. We have much to share. It's an entertaining kind of Friday, but we're going to be celebrating gold. The taste of the Caribbean team, uh, well, from Barbados. The taste of Barbados team went up to taste of the Caribbean, and they brought back everything they possibly could. Lots of gold, lots of awards. We'll talk about that. And, of course, Cave Shepherd will join us again. We'll tell you what's happening in the bridal department. So stay tuned. That and more coming up on Morning Barbados. Mm-hmm.